All right, Schlock Mr. fans, we're going to watch something called Divine Emmanuel, otherwise called Love Camp. Let's check it out. Give up your soul to an everlasting love. All right, this is a senator, Senator Benjamin, and that's his daughter Patricia. They're visiting, I don't know, somewhere. It was filmed in Cyprus. Let's say Cyprus. You're about to meet Dorian. Now on the beach, Patricia makes eye contact with Dorian. He's some sort of cult leader. Something called the Children of Light. They worship the Divine One. So she watches Dorian preach on the beach. She's, she's mesmerized. So they live at this place called the Children of Light. That's the name of their cult. And they worship the Divine One, that picture there. Now, they practice free love where everybody sleeps with everybody. And I can't really show you this. Reaction is understandable. Patricia but talks to Dorian one-on-one. -on -one. You won't laugh. Well, whoever she is, she must be someone very special. You seem to be so happy when you talk of her. So she must be out of this world. She's near me every minute. In everything I do throughout the day. So belong to you, Dorian. Silence. <gasps> this woman wants to leave the cult. You still don't understand the message of the Divine One. She didn't like some of the sexual stuff that All was right. happening to her. I free you from your oath. You are free. Yes. This is Tonga. He's one of the bodyguards to the Divine One. Who is taking a bath. That's Laura Gemser in the bathtub, although we can't quite see her yet. Now this guy's on the lookout for the Divine One. If he sees her, he has to let everybody know. There's Laura Gamser. She's about to remove her robe and walk topless amongst them. Now you're supposed to have free love and sleep with everybody, but this couple only sleeps with each other. We're in love, the both of us. Did you hear that? In love? That's not allowed. For that, they get punished. They get stripped naked and ten lashes each. A little while later, the Divine One whips herself then. Our Divine One sleeps with females too because it's free love all around. Female, female included. Another woman wants to leave the cult. Goodbye, Rose. I wish you health and luck. I have one last request. Could we make love for the last time before I go? They do. So this chick, Rose, was allowed to leave. But there's a catch, and she doesn't know it yet. There's Tonga. If you wish to leave us, you must die. <laughs> he ends up tossing her in a pit. Drawing all those down there who wanted to leave the divine one, you fool. There's a lot of music in this movie, and some of it's kind of catchy, while ridiculous. The local cop does not like this place, and is repeatedly trying to find ways to shut it down. This guy. Where are the missing sect members? I don't know, Inspector. They're not on the camp. 
nowhere in sight. Did they leave the camp? No, they didn't leave the camp. What does that mean? We threw them out. We made them leave the community. So they pull this guy. It's Gabrielle Tinti, Laura Gems' real life husband. He's actually a spy for the cops. Well, have you been able to find anything out yet? Any clues to where the missing sect members could be? Have you noticed anything? Mm -mm. Nothing, Inspector. But I have a feeling they must be here somewhere. This woman wants to lose her virginity. Undress our sister Susan and prepare her for her woman. The Divine One's interested in the Senator's daughter. We must get that Veneman girl to join us, Dorian. Have you read the papers? They say she'll be inheriting a lot of money. With that money, we could rebuild our village somewhere else. <laughs> so do it now! No! What's the matter, Divine One? Don't you believe what you say about loving everyone? No, I hate you all. All of you are just bodies to me. <laughs> Truth comes out. I hate you all. So please go. So it is all a lie! Dad, her dad is against her joining. I get information from very reliable sources, and take my word you can believe them. I love him, and I don't intend to stop seeing him. So, well, we'll have to do something about that. But she escapes out the window to go be with Dorian. Dad, I belong to him. There's no use trying to get me back. Patricia. Up, Dad. Patricia, get a hold of yourself. If you don't stop this nonsense and come home with me right this second, I'm calling the police. Oh, Father, please go before I start to hate you. No matter what you say or do, I'm staying here with him because I love him. I think I understand, Dorian. So will that be acceptable to her? Take her to your hut. For the moment, she belongs to you. Nobody is to touch her. That is nobody but you. Do you read me? This is Lieutenant Donatis. Listen, can you come quick? I found them. I know where they are. I'll have to show you where it is. They're all dead at the edge of the hills. Our spy is busted. <laughs> and after a brief fight, his neck is broken. <laughs> but that will bring more police. The jig is up. The time has come, Tonga. Our fate is sealed. You know what I mean. I want you to go and prepare everything. What does prepare everything mean? It means there are bombs everywhere and it's time to blow up the whole ship. She addresses the you throngs. You should imagine that there's nothing at all after it. That it's your last moment of love making here on Earth. And then and then there's nothing. It's basically a Jim Jones thing. There's just eternity. An eternity of nothing. So there's a giant orgy, but Dorian and Patricia decide to leave. I can no longer go on following the teachings of the sect. The reason, the reason is I'm in love with Patricia. And I'd like permission to leave with her. They decide to leave. Tonga shows them the way. And by the way, that's David Koresh, I believe, on the right. Are they going to end up in the pit while everything else blows? He's going to try. After a brief struggle, he manages to flip him into the pit. Give me your hand. Let me help you up. Yo! Your hand. Hello! Divine one, I'm coming. The cops show up and we have two survivors, Dorian and Patricia. Didn't I tell you we'd be seeing each other again? And it's nice to see you. Oh, but I'll be you guide to the loving land of love. All right, let's talk about Love Camp. Also known as Divine Emmanuel. It has nothing to do with Emmanuel. Um, it just happens to star Laura Gimser. 
And this is from 1981, uh, directed by Christian Anders, who actually starred in this movie also, or co-starred. He was the guy who played Dorian, the blonde-haired guy. Apparently, from what IMDb says, he's some sort of, uh, he's got some uh, weird thoughts uh, uh, about HIV and that it was created to attack black people or something like that, or gay people. I don't know, just apparently he's an odd dude. Um, he also sang that song, uh, Give Up Your Soul to an Everlasting Love. Um, by the way, if you hear that, it's going to stick with you forever. I haven't seen this movie in a long, long time, um, but I remember years ago hearing that, and it's just been with me forever to this day. There are some other catchy tunes in here. I don't know, I don't know catchy is the right word, but they, they're they earworms. There's a song called The Sublime, uh, sung by that black guy who I showed you a little clip for. Couldn't really show you the, the chorus of that because there was constant nudity going on through it throughout. And then he sings that song, uh, This is the End, at the end there, when uh, apparently he has a song for every everything that could happen. So... He was real well prepared. Um, but anyway, the movie itself, it's about a, uh, uh, I guess, a, somewhat like a hippie cult in 1981. Uh, the movie was filmed in Cyprus, so maybe it took place in Cyprus. I don't know. But uh, it's called the, the Children of Light or the Child of Light. Um, they all worship this woman, the Divine One, who was played by Laura Gemser. And uh, what their goal is here, I don't know. They basically just hang out on this commune of some sort, uh, sleep around with each other. She promotes free love, that everybody sleeps with everybody. Um, and um, if you don't abide by that, you get whipped. Um, uh, there was um, a couple who fell in love with each other, but you know when it was found out that they're not sleeping with other people, they got uh, a bunch of lashes each. We saw that happen. Um, there is a cop in town who doesn't like this thing. They always think something illegal is going on. People are being held against their will. Um, but uh, Emmanuel says, no, there's nobody here against their will, but he doesn't believe it. So he sends in a spy, Gabrielle, played by Gabrielle Tinti, uh, Laura Gimbo's real life husband at the time. And um, he is basically a spy to figure out what's going on, why, where these people are going that are missing. Well, if you do try to leave the cult, they say, fine, you can go on your way. Uh, nobody's forced to stay here. But when you try to leave, they actually will kill you by throwing you in a pit, this bottomless pit of some sort. Uh, this great big guy, Tonga, throws him down this pit. So um, you're, you're, you're in for good once you're there. So anyway, uh, Gabrielle finds out about this, and then Tonga kills him and throws him down the pit. Um, but then he says to Emmanuel, look, um, uh, this is going to lead to more cops coming because he did manage to get a call on the radio, so we're fucked. Um, so she goes all Jim Jones and says, basically, we're going to die. We have to kill each other, kill, kill ourselves, and uh, but let's go out with some lovemaking. So she basically has everybody do this giant orgy while she sets these bombs in place to blow up. Uh, meanwhile, there's this other couple, Dorian, um, and uh, uh, Patricia, who is the daughter of the senator who was in town or in the country visiting, who kind of came under his spell, they fall in love with each other and they want to leave the sex. So Emmanuel says, sure, go ahead. Uh, but meanwhile, Tonga's out there waiting for him to throw him in the pit. Well, um, they get into a struggle and Tonga actually falls in the pit. Um, and uh, Dorian tries to save him, but he says, nope, I'm going down with the ship. So he decides to jump on his own. Meanwhile, the entire cult place blows up. And presumably everybody died with the exception of Dorian and Patricia. And the cops came. The senator was there. He was happy. And that's how our movie end with Dorian and Patricia being a couple. There you go. Love Camp, a.k.a. Divine Emmanuel. Um, quite a film this is. Um, there is a lot of nudity in this movie. Um, some pretty risque stuff, too. And some pretty disturbing stuff in some regard, too. Um, but... For an exploitation film, this one's top notch. It's got it all in there, and it's 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 impressive. It really is. So, and for some reason, there's some catchy earworm tunes in this. I can't explain it, but they're in there. You'll never forget them once you watch this movie. I highly recommend it. If you're into the exploitation shit, this one is right up your alley. Um, it's available on this Emmanuel collection. I don't know if I've even seen this around. I got this quite a while ago. It's got Lady Emmanuel and Yellow Emmanuel in it. Um, uh, but yeah, it's also got a Divine Emmanuel, also called. Love Camp. The on-screen title was Love Camp, but the box, the individual box, I believe says Divine Emmanuel. I think so. Sure does. So anyway, that's it. I believe you can get this on its own, too. You don't have to get the box set, um, which I'm guessing is probably out of print and hard to find now, but whatever. I'll leave a link to something down below if you're looking for it, and you should get it, because as far as these types of film goes, this is a good one. Check it out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about Love Camp, otherwise known as Divine Emmanuel. Watch it. Bye.